Hi, we thought we would show you what the duplex system looks actually mounted on the top of an SUV. What we've done is drilled a three quarter inch hole on the front portion of the vehicle to which we mounted an NMO uh, cable. And on the back side of the vehicle, we also drilled a three quarter inch hole where we mounted a uh, combo mount. What you need to do is on the front side, we have the UHF 700-800 antenna. And when drilling your holes, you have to remember to try to drill the holes as far apart as possible within the constraints of the vehicle. On the back portion, this is our upgraded system. Typically, you would get a quarter wave antenna both front and back. We've upgraded, again, to the UHF. And in the back, we've upgraded to the VHF antenna, which mounts directly onto the GPS combo mount. So in this case, you actually have four bands. All right, now this is our duplexer. It could be easily mounted in the trunk or under a seat. You can see that for each antenna, we've connected the VHF and the VHF port and the UHF and the UHF port. The top port goes directly to the radio. But in this case, we're going to attach it to our analyzer to show you the specific VSWR results for this application. This VSWR plot depicts the multiband input impedance connecting both antennas with excellent VSWR match across all three bands 144 to 174, 450 to 520, and 746 to 870 MHz. The system performance for both VHF and UHF bands are operating below a 1.8 to 1 VSWR match, while the 746 to 870 MHz band portion performs with exceptional matching, less than 1.5 to 1. The results of our installation verify 92% or greater signal transmission for both VHF and UHF bands, and better than 96% signal transmission for the 746 to 870 MHz band.